阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥。Thank you, everyone,、uh, for joining the session today. From the look of the title, it may sound like、uh, some sort of a mythical stuff like that, but it's actually containing important message of how one person、um, can reform. And in order to reform, one must not deceive themselves.、Uh, how serious if one lie to themselves or deceive themselves、uh, and. The consequences goes beyond simply, you know, that logically not、um, sincere or anything, but it actually affects your people, the family, and everyone around you because because、um, of self deception or not being honest、uh, with yourself and others. So, what do I what do I mean by deceiving oneself,、uh, lying to yourself? I mean, I'm、uh, how can I lie to myself? I'm clear what I'm doing. I I'm seeing what I'm doing. Lying to yourself in the context of Liao Fan and context of Yu Jingyi, actually more pronounced in Yu Jingyi, is、um, doing something、uh, subconsciously you might know it's not right, but you kind of、um, like kind of like self hypnosis, like telling yourself it's I'm a good guy, I'm a good person, but deep down you know it's not、um, because you do that just to get the fame and the, you know just to.、Uh, Gain some fame score instead of being sincere about it. So it goes back to the same message that I'm trying to say.、Um, so much kindness. If you want to boil down all this kindness, what makes it different? What makes it real? What makes it fake? What makes it straight? What makes it crude? What makes it proper? What makes it improper? What makes it actual? What makes it apparent? What makes it big? What makes it small? It's the heart. It's the sincerity. If one is not real, not really want to do that.、Um, Instead, they just do it for the sake of do、uh, you know show or fame or anything. Then obviously it will not be perfect because the seeds are not correct. The plantation of the seeds is not correct. So back to the point.、Uh, set aside all the metaphors. Mister Yu,、uh, historically he is a real person. He is born in Ming Dynasty around fifteen hundreds. That was about the later part of the Ming Dynasty before the Qing. Came in, so it's in Jiajing, the time of Emperor Jiajing.、Um, this Mr. Zhang, after saying that, I know what happened to you guys, your family, because your mind is too evil. That's it. He directly said that your your mind is too evil. You think too much unwholesome,、uh, evil thoughts, and you to put a lot of effort in hooking a few minutes of fame. So you put your effort in fame, and your mind is already containing a lot of evils. Be careful when we read this. We don't want to just sit at the side and look at Mister Yu. Ha ha! He thinks of all the evil thoughts. Remember, he already reformed. Think of about us. How much of this、uh, mentioned by Mister Zhang, the kitchen god, that we have, or worse than him? I'm pretty sure we would have a, a find something we can reform on. So the first thing is the thought is evil. And the second thing is hooking up fame. So he's trying to get fame instead of actually doing good. So on your report that you submit to the heaven or court of appeal, something like that,、um, the whole piece of paper is full of complaints, complaints, complaints. Like it sounds like, oh, I'm a good person. Why do you treat me like that? I'm a good citizen, something like that. And and this one is like a humiliation to the heaven. Because all these judgment are passed down and and executed by, I mean,、uh, yeah, ex,、uh, reinforced 
by uh, enforced by the, the, the all the gods and beings. As you can see later when we talk about Taizang Gai Yimpian, the tributes and retributions of the um, heavenly emperor. Basically cause and effect. What I'm trying to say is cause and effect is working as intended. So now when you say all these kind of complaints, it's like you're humiliating the whole system, the whole judgment of cause and effect. Um, so because of that, I'm afraid not only that you will get reassessment to alleviate your suffering, you might get even more punishment out of that. Oh, so when Mr. Yu heard this, he, he's shocked, he's absolutely shocked. So this is where I'm trying to say is, this is a story of a person who were trapped in his own illusions for so many years, since 18 years old, or maybe even earlier, all the way to the age of 47. Guys, think about how many years is that, 47, 18 to 47. A lot of us, most of us in youth group is 20, 30. And we are very lucky to realize that there is this book telling us about this person. So he's been thinking like that, he's fine. And the world is unfair to him for all these years, 20-ish years. And so, so, so he was shocked when he was awake by the, own, the God that he prayed every day. Kitchen God, so he still have uh, the, the the affinity. So he heard. So he know he know the laws. Look at that. He heard. I heard that in the uh, world of the you know cause and effect in the spirits, um, every single good deeds will be recorded in your book, in the book of the uh, in the book of deeds, good and bad, basically like a record, right? The record of good, record of criminals. So um, I have swore to do all the good deeds and i have followed them to the letter i have followed all these um, teachings to the letter precepts to the letter uh, for a long time for many many years since what since he was like a young adult he has that charity guys right he promote all this um uh, uh, save the resource save the money and uh, don't waste food and stuff um, follow the five precepts those are good things uh, so how can it be fake how can it be uh, for fame uh, actually, so Mr. Zhang say, as you have said yourself, as in you promoted, you want to promote saving the papers. Do not waste the papers. For your context, the paper in ancient time is not as available as we have now. We have a like industrial machine and you know cut tons tons of trees and then just do it in, in millions and billions. In back then, you need to use manual work, and it's it's a lot of pain and a long process. So this is a good thing, good initiative. However, Mr. Zhang said, "君之生徒与之交备，多用书文旧册，无窗里物，甚至以事作。Okay, so however, you your own student and and those people who know you, your your friends and your own student in this society." Because he, he, he has um, enlisted a lot of students in his uh, society. There are a lot of them, they use the books, all right? And, and they, 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 the way they treat the paper is they use um, those... Um, they use the paper that meant for the, for the windows to wipe the tables. So basically, He's quite, uh, this, or he used the old books, so I'm trying to make sense of this Chinese word, wait. 君之生徒与之交备,多用书文旧册,胡窗果物,甚至以知识桌,且借口约物屋而玄焚之. Okay, hypocrisy. So what happened to his case is, he publicly trying to promote saving paper, you know, precious paper, use it for the you know, propagation of good teachings. However, what in action, in reality, what he actually do is his own student and his own friends in the society of Wenchang, the God Wenchang society, um, he used the old books, all right? He used the papers from the old books or the, the discarded books and all these, you know, like uh, leftover papers that are meant for the windows. There's no glass back then, guys. They use paper for windows. And they use that to wipe on the on the table. So it could it could have been reused as like, you know, writing another book, but they use it to wipe the table. 
like a cloth. And and then they say that, oh yeah, we should not uh, uh, taint the paper. Paper are precious. We should use it for better purpose. And then he burned them all away. So he's trying to say save the paper, but he used the paper for the purpose that could be served by a cloth. So he instead of using it for books, he used it to wipe the table, which is disrespectful to the to the teachings. And then he say, okay, uh, because uh, this paper were being you know tainted by the paper the table stain, so I need to burn it away as a sign of respect. So basically, it's it's not what he says is not what he did. So every day I'm seeing what you did. Every day I'm looking at what you did. All right. So give you another example. Bu jie yu yi yu. Bu jie yu yi yu, dan yu yu jian zi zi se wu fu you he yi zai. Okay, I don't understand that. So zhong mei yue fang sheng. Okay, talk about the letting go of life. Fang sheng. All right. Uh, 谁帮分组而人称是上组居居 ？Oh, releasing animals in captivity to back to their nature is good things. However, he did that just to follow the trend instead of actually doing it on his own kind heart. He's following the big group. Everyone's trying to release the the wildlife to captivity. He just follows suit. When no one's doing it, he's just not doing it at all. So he just do it when people's doing it, so that he might he appear as one of the good peoples. But when no one's doing it at all, he's just gone. He disappeared. And that means he he's he's not really wanting to do this. He just do it just to follow everyone. Ah, 其实慈悲之念并未动于中也 That means even though your action might look compassion, you would do all this, you know, release the animals to the wild. But you have no actual compassion in your heart, or your compassion in the heart remains hidden; is not activated. That will be more accurate. You never touch a heart of compassion. Why? At your home, look at your own dishes. There are a lot of crabs as part of your dinner menu, all right? And none of them is safe from your butcheries. So one in on one hand, you say, "I want to save life." Uh, this is a A fish I bought from the market. I release it to the wild. We should love them all, or we should release the birds. At home, you roast a pigeon and roast the fish with the sweet and sour sauce for your whole family, and it's the same fish. Something like that. You can see that comedic yet、um, sad kind of a、uh, uh, realities happens. Aren't these beings that you eat life as well? So there you go. One is paper. One is letting go of life. Those are two main things.、Um, yeah, he used these two examples to show that he's not、uh, practice what he preach. And then he move on to another thing he promotes: take care of your words. You know, be careful of the words. Do not、uh, slander, lie, bad mouthing, stuff like that. Them so go to and also talk something、um, non not meaningful. Your ways with word, Mister Yu, is miraculous. You have your way with words. He started with this. 君语言明了，谈者常倾倒于君。Every time people trying to talk to you or、uh, discuss something, you none of them can debate over you. In short words, he already point out his way of speech. Is he always want to cover over other people instead of having a a, a good exchange? 君彼时出口，心意知知伤后，但于蓬坛灌输之中，随风善笑，不能静止。And beyond that, every time you talk, right, with others, you know sometimes the word you go about to say is harmful. And might even, you know, support it. It's like it might, it might be a insult to your friends.、Uh, sometimes beyond just comedy, it might be insultful. However, among the people you're familiar with, your dear close friends, your、um, your classmates and stuff, who you are familiar with, you follow this conversation and you added a lot of、um, uh, unnecessary sarcasm 
or sometimes uh, more than sarcasm, it's more like um, humiliation or laughing at them, not laughing with them. So you talk in your conversation, you always laugh at them. Added a lot of um, sharp remarks and sarcasm. And you couldn't stop. Like it's not like one or two, it keeps going and going and going. And you can imagine when you talk to someone, uh, it's fine to have a bit of laugh and things, but if that person keep going, going, go deeper and dig even deeper without, you know, taking care of everyone's uh, uh, sentiment and understanding, then it becomes uh, hard to talk. Everyone becomes awkward. So that's what happened with him. Uh, he has a very ways, good way. I mean, he has his way with words. He's very sharp in his tongue, and he always able. He always wins in debates and convince people. And then the other hand is oh, when he talks, he knows it's not right, but the words he couldn't control. He keeps releasing it in a, in a way that harms his dear friends, people close to him. So remember, the words you say and the implication it has, right, will also affect the judgment from the heavens and the uh, ghost realm. So if your words is too sharp and it's senseless uh, and harms people, only it serves to harm people, not awaken people, then you will anger the ghost, anger the gods, basically the people who are enforcing the laws. Ying uh, er zhu, it will be recorded as Hidden, not hidden kindness, hidden trespassing, hidden transgression. So the opposite of hidden kindness is hidden transgression, even worse. Hidden kindness gives you a extra uh, good karma it, instead of obvious kindness. Obvious transgression or obvious uh, wrongdoing is less harmful than hidden wrongdoing. Like as in someone who is being scolded by the whole world, all right, they already have bad karma appear, right? They scolded, they bar, they sanction all the modern times. But someone who appears as good, but they're actually not so pure inside, and they do a lot of bad things inside, that person has a whole, a, lot, a whole lot of bad things waiting for them, waiting to happen. And Mr. Yu has a hidden evil or hidden tra transgression. And you can imagine, now you can start to understand, I think we all can start to understand why he has all these calamities. Losing seven children, wife has gone blind, career is not working, financial not secure um, because of this. He appears as good, but he's actually not. So compared to someone who appears as bad, and no, everyone knows he's bad, he's actually got heavier punishment, heavier penalties. So back to this, so use the that tone. If you, if you read what he said from the kitchen god, So after doing all this, you know, he talk about papers, he talk about saving lives, he talk about taking care of your words, but your action is using the paper wrongfully in the wrong purpose. Right? Reuse the paper in the, I mean, you wasted the paper by treating it as a cloth. Second thing is, uh, you say you release life by you're eating all the animals or even killing the, the animals yourself. And then also you talk about being careful with words, but every time you talk to people, you hurt people. You hurt them, especially people close to you here, he mentioned, among people who you know. So, and then you label yourself as someone who's very uh, noble or very, uh, how to say, uh, less desire. I'm, very, you know, I'm following the ways of the Tao and all that. Um, so, who are you lying to? Are you lying to the heavens? That's his tone uh, from the kitchen god. Now he goes to even more serious stuff. Every time I look at this, I was like, oh my god. Like, how many do I have? Everything. Like, even vegetarianism. I am a long time vegetarian. Am I truly compassionate? No, I still have angers. I still have that sense of sometimes even tong the sasing, you know, it's even worse. Killing, at the thought of killing, even though it's a, a moment of anger, that anger of wanting to harm people, that thought's still there. That means we're still not compassionate, guys. So that's that's why all these things are meant to expose our our under, you know, those things hidden underneath. Get rid of it, clean it up. 
no matter how painful, how much you cry, just get it out and look at yourself and see how much things I have done and how much thing I need to work on. Only then you can talk about uh, to be virtuous, to have good merits. There's a reason why we are not getting what we have. There's a reason why we have obstacles in our life that's not working because we are not aware of what we did, maybe in the past. But in this case, Mr. Yu didn't talk about his past life. We talk about his current life, what he did unconsciously, consciously. He didn't know. He's not aware. He might know, but he's not fully aware of it. So our job now towards ourselves, our responsibility towards ourselves is learn what from him, his example, to, to get all this thing out. Like, what is the most serious part I have in myself? And how do I go about in reforming it? So you can follow the example of Mr. Yu. If you keep reading, he will say that. So we continue on the fourth things he did. All right. First three, we will talk about that. The fourth one is sexual misconduct. Now this happens, this not happening in action. So he's, he's not having extramarital affair. He's, he's still normal, like with his wife and all that. But problem is, even though sexual misconduct or unwholesome thought, um, sexual misconduct, even though there is no actual action uh, in it. However, every time you saw someone pretty from other people, uh, from other place, you always look at it without letting it go. So you, not just one glance, you keep looking at it without letting it go. It applies to male and female guys, not just male to female, male, female to male. Uh, and in the, in the modern days, it goes both ways more often. So once you look at them, you never let go. And inside your heart, your heart is already yao yao bu neng qian. So you already wavered until you, you could not chase back your sensibility. So you lost your sense um, of you know moderation when you look at someone good looking. Uh, however, because you have no opportunities to act on it, that's why you haven't actually put in action to pursue sexual misconduct, to, to commit sexual misconduct. So, Mr. Yu, you have to think, uh, you have, so Mr. Um, Yu, I advise you to think back in the same encounter again in future, could you do, could you reach the same level or could you emulate the example of Mr. Liu, a man called Liu? So what did he do? Zhong Shen Wu Xie Ye, Wu Xie Se. He is, he's, how to say, Mr. Liu has reached a level where in the thoughts, he do not attach or do not get swayed away by the appearance of pretty pretty woman and stuff like that. So he did not get swayed by the lust. Yeah. So that's, that's basically saying that no sexual misconduct means do not indulge in lust. Um, so Mr. Yu, could you be, could you learn from, uh, could you imagine yourself as Mr. Lu, who has able to withstand the temptation of lust by not getting swayed by the appearance of pretty person? So if you have the ability to stay still, not being swayed, I'm not saying that you don't look at people, but you look and let it go. So Venerable uh, Ding Hong or something, he talk, because he's young, and he, always talk, he also talked about this uh, lack of deep discussion on sexual misconduct and overcoming lust. Something that we all, especially young people now, because young have a lot of qi uh, easier to commit this. So Venerable, um, Ding Hong uh, talks about um, like trying to overcome lust, right? It's not something that you uh, say no because you're not Bodhisattva yet. But what you're trying to do is you do not entertain it. You do not allow it to linger. So his, his point of folk is he, he lingers after detecting a pretty presence, a pretty presence yeah, around him. And he just lingers and allow his heart loosed with, uh, to the point of no control. So if you can hold back, remain control over your heart, understand that this is a pretty person. He has done a good karma in past life. She has done a good karma in past life. 
this will do this as, as a person and that's it do not dwell on it act normally react normally and do not allow your heart to pursue on it in our case just name for just name for no matter how hard name for and uh, sometimes in my personal experience it might not work but you have to have that concept of those are illusories and those are not something that you can uh, pursue and get forever even though you have them as your wife or husband people come to the level of so face will change and um, we need to learn not to dwell on it we need to learn how to look beyond that so in this case we need to learn from mr Liu for male and female alike uh, whole life has no evil thought arising especially in terms of lust do not uh, allow lust take control of that over the heart with, with this kind of virtue you can directly face the heaven and earth and they will respect you because you are a true person you're truly virtuous so we do not dare to say you reach a level where the other huts they have severed, I mean the third level of sage in the Xiao Chen, they have severed like literally no concept of lust. That's another level. They have lust, but they're able to uh, not allowing it to control. And that's that's the beginning part. That's how we get started. Pretty flower, we respect the pretty flower, and then we move on. Do not stay on the flower. <laughs> that's it. So Si Jun Zi Tiao Shi Xing Zhe Shang Ran Du Ci He Guang Yu Bu. So these are something you mention it as like your rules, the conditions of entry to your charity Wen Chang. So those are things that you so you are the founders, one of the founders is supposed to represent the virtues. Because if you are not following these rules, who will? People will come in after you saying that the founders like you know not following their own policy. Why am I following it? So how can you reach achieve a effect of educating the masses to be good if you are not good yourself? And also, I need to emphasize on this point of sexual misconduct is to have a happy family. Once you have selected one person as your partner, it has to go beyond just looks. Looks are always a good way to start, but it's always beyond that. The whole point of this, and it's a whole book, So Kang Bao Jian, by Master Ying Guang, recommend to us, is to show us that how do you have a happy life? And Master Xue Wu also talks about how do you have a happy life? Is to have uh content understand why where you are who you are the affinities that you have with people around you including your your spouse your own children and stuff and so contentment is very important and to have contentment you must overcome these issues first for those who have not married including myself and all that we need to learn how to overcome the obstacles of you know getting uh, swayed by appearances getting swayed by you know a certain uh, urge to speak out that harms people just for the sake of fun stuff like that if this thing can be moderated i'm not daring to say the severe like the bodhisattva high level but able to moderate it or able to control it able to you will understand when you know it like okay now i, I can I get a hang of it now i'm driving myself properly i'm i'm directing myself in the right course i don't feel uh, the whole thing is not like because there's a lot of misunderstanding on this moral teaching is this person holding a ruler and they're very strict very stringent and then they they act like a machine and robot that's only for beginners like if you started to join a monk hood or something then you need to shut your eyes shut your ears shut your mouth sorry it's a bit rude um close your mouth close your eyes close your ears um, so that you do not get swayed because you already have a lot of rubbish in there a lot of trash in there we need to clean up the trash when you reach a higher level of uh, cultivation your job has to go out and talk about this and obviously right now we are discussing and trying to uh, translate this into english that's what i'm trying to do but you go to the wider world even more things happening you need that level of stability inside and this is important my friend and when you the normal mode is not not seeing anything not hearing anything not talking anything normal mode is seeing what you need to see see what is happening hear what is happening talk what is happening but do not uh, dwell on it do not uh, get swayed by it 
continue on with your mission, your duty, or normally. Do not get too extreme on anything. Moderation, zone down. So all this are uh, reason why Mr. Yu has such a terrible, pitiful and miserable existence at the first part of his life, first half of his uh, life, 47 years. Now he mentioned, Mr. Yu, you burned this um, paper, the yellow paper, to the emperor. This is a way to send a message out there, telling the heavens to reassess your condition. The heavenly emperor has already sent a lot of envoys and a lot of uh, auditors, auditors checking on your records, reconciliating the accounts. Uh, we have an accountant here, Maggie. I'm not sure if I'm using the term correctly. Reconciliating, auditing your deeds of good and bad with what you say, your actual deeds with what you say to us, uh, what you reported to us, and what you actually did recorded. And the findings of the audits, heavenly audits, is for few years, none, there's not even one proper, one thing that can be called good found from you. And this is why he has such a terrible condition. There's nothing you can give to him to alleviate sufferings. He keeps digging the hole himself. He keeps digging his own grave. And he thinks he's doing the good for others. That's the worst part of it. And that's why he has, uh, the, the, the encounter with Kitchen God might be the last, last line before he entirely co uh, collapsed. So, now he's talking about a more personal level, this one. Uh, and, and being per, uh, alone. Dan Yu Si Ju Du Chu Zhong, Jian Ju Si Tan Nian, Ying Nian, Ji Du Nian, Bian Ji Nian, Gao Ji Bei Nen Nian, Yi Wang Si Lai Nian, En Chou Bao Fu Nian, Chong Chong Yu Xiong Bu Ke Ji Ji. So now I have observed during the observation what we observe. To be fair, I'm telling you what we observe. When you live by yourself, I have saw strong uh, emissions of your greed, the thought of greed, of lust, of jealousy, of agitation, being agitated, very rushed, of arrogance, uh, of looking down on others, maybe I need to do a research on the dictionary, but is arrogance. Bianzini, I have a little bit of feeling, maybe it's like very rushed, constantly, um, you know, not stable, not still, but I need to research. Yi Wang Si Lai Nian, like um, non-stop thinking about the past and always hope for the future, but never, never work on the present. So let it sink in, guys. Yi Wang Si Lai Nian, what's wrong? I'm thinking about my past and I, I have a lot of hope for future, but we need to ask ourselves, where do we have future? Where do we? Where do the future come from? From now. If we, from now, if you want that future, where? How do you get started now? If you keep thinking about that future, how can you do anything at all? You got to dwell on the future and about past. So many things happened in the past, good, bad, but it's the past, isn't it? Or things you did wrong in the past. If you don't do anything now, how can you fix it? Or how can you elevate it? How can you improve your existence? If we keep just thinking about, oh, I did something wrong. So this goes both ways, guys. Uh, it, it, this has two layers of meaning. First layer is, I keep thinking about my past. I did something wrong, I did something wrong. And then a person who want to wake you up would be, what are you going to do now? It's not, not sitting there and say, I did something wrong. Yeah, I did something wrong too. And then what, what's next? What do I do now that I can move on? How do I move on? And the future is, I hope I can have this, I have a good family, I have a good uh, career, I have a, you know, I have attained Nian for Sun maybe in three years. I've attained the, you know, the, the level of chanting where I can see Amitabha in three years, in our case. What are you doing now? Playing games, looking at those YouTube videos non-stop, I'm talking about myself, and wasting time on lust and all that thoughts. Are you going to Pure or going to Hell, 
I mean, in a sense, are you going to put yourself in a deeper, deeper hole in the grave like Mr. Yu did? Or are you actually making progress towards Pure Land? Those are very realistic stuff. And I'm not. So that's the problem now. That's the problem now. I keep thinking about the past. I'm, I did wrong, I did wrong. And then did nothing about it. And think about the future. I want to have this. I want to have that. I want to be, uh, you know, um, uh, master of my destiny and all that. And what do you do now? You are a slave to your own habits. How can you be master of your destiny? So if we have a sharp mouth, we use that against ourselves, not other people. Only then you can be a sage. Or sage means a person who understand and truly act as, act as he said. So Venerable Wu Xing has shared a, a story, with, uh, a phrase with me, which I cherish so treasure from Master Ching Kong. He passed from Master, uh, he passed the message from Master Ching Kong um, during his speech. He said that ordinary people do not feel anything wrong with themselves. They are fine. Uh, Xian Ren, which is the aspirant to be a sage, will find that they have faults. They have some faults, some faults. They, um, yeah, I have something wrong here. A sage finds all sorts of wrongs with themselves every single day, every single moment, non-stop. And they, they, and they act on it. They, and they try to do something about it. So, you can, as you can see, a bodhisattva keeps finding a lot of errors and faults that he will need to repair. Uh, aspiring to be a bodhisattva, not yet there, he or she will, all, will, will somehow find some faults in themselves, but they still think maybe, um, you know, I'm not too bad. An ordinary people, is the world is fine, it's all fine. I'm fine, I'm good, I'm amazing. Amazing. Okay, so anyway, so so I'll leave it at that for us, right? Only when you are Buddha, you can say that I'm truly fine. Even Bodhisattva of the one level below, like Guan Yin and all that, what represent by Guan Yin, they were Buddha already. But what they represent is one more level to Buddhahood. They keep reminding during the Pu Xian Shi Yuan, the ten vows of uh, Universal Worthy Bodhisattva, Pu Xian. Universal good bodhisattva. Xian means good. Pu means universal. If you always think about Chan Hui Yue Zhang, Chan Hui Yue Zhang, Chan Hui Yue Zhang, a bodhisattva of that elegance in cultivation and practice, you think about what have I done wrong? <laughs> what about us? <laughs> so, um, thinking about what you've done wrong is important to fix it, not just to dwell in it. The problem of in my case, I can't speak for everyone, is dwell in it or not acting on it or powerless to act against it or finding excuses not to fix it. So a lot of us might be able to find that errors and faults, but not doing anything on it means that you're still going to fall. There's, no, there's no, no way you can get out until you actually do something about it. So just on basic thinking about the past and hoping for the future is to be understood in this context. Only then we understand why Mr. Yu cannot get out of his loop, if his hellish loop. And the last one is, he always have that thought of revenge, avenge, avenge uh, people, avenging people. Oh, you did wrong to me, that did wrong to me. Obviously that, that is not the balanced mindset. You can't attain anything with that. Not even a simple career improvement, let alone a, a, a life Every one of these extreme thoughts or imbalanced thoughts are in your mind. You can't stop it. And you, you can't even, like this endless of records of that thought. I can go even finer. Like the Christian God says, I can go even more. I can't finish it. So all these evil thoughts, those are evil thoughts, guys. Uh, unwholesome thoughts, right? Evil means it's not um, in the right direction. Um, it's too extreme. It's not necessarily mean bad. It means not in the right direction, not, not balanced. It's too extreme, too one-sided. We're talking about middle path in Buddhism. And those things already accumulated and the gods have already looked on this case of yours a lot of times, many times. We've written so much of your past two weeks. They're telling them the inner workings now. This is what we did. You want appeal? This is what we did. This is what you have. This is your record. 
and the heaven has already followed this record of yours and according to the law of cause and effect giving you all this punishment you cannot not only that you will get i mean not only you wouldn't get any good bad, uh, good karma of your so-called kindness your punishment will keep coming even more ah. So this can apply to myself or ourselves. You can't even escape from more calamities on your way, let alone getting any of the prosperity or omens that we keep saying, because your action is not doing that. And look at our world right now. Isn't that the case, guys? Bushfire, for our case, flood for some people, COVID, non-stop for another three years, and now a war, So this is this is why Master Ching Kong trying to push out this kind of education of cause and effect because there's no other way. You can't even use this way or anymore effectively. You will need this way, but we have to use this kind of heavy dose of uh, wake up call to the world to talk to the world because the world, the whole world is not just us. The whole world needs to know, and this is the only way. This is what happened. This is the disease, the disasters, and what do we do about it? We just keep talking about, oh, this is just some natural disaster, nothing to do with me. But, and just another plane fall down in the middle of nowhere in China. These people just gone. And more will come. There's a lot of predictions. 2025, there will be a, there will be a flood in between Taiwan, Japan, and Philippines. And I believe it. It will happen because that person already has a lot of cases predicted to be true. I'm not even surprised. I'm looking at everything we learn. Those things are happening now. Why am I doubting something like this will happen? The level of the level that affects the whole East Asia Pacific area. So what I'm trying to say is, um, the only we only have one way to get out right now, and going to pure land means chanting Amitabha, not by mouth, by re really talking to yourself. Like, like, are you aware of this? Now you may be good your job your everything might be upwards but but are you sure you will last or are you sure this so-called illusions of peace as you can see from ukraine illusion of safety as you can see in COVID, everything goes well in 20 before that happened or seems going well and this head hits and it tested everyone so all these things are reminding us when you're living comfortably living in a condition of not having any lacking please remember prepare for the dangers only when you have that sense of threat and dangers in your heart i'm not telling you to be fearful and jump around but i'm telling myself and hopefully it transmits to everyone is to be aware to have a healthy amount of fear because we, we are we are living on that on that shaking foundation of this world anything can happen to you, to your family. Already we have like two, I have like two family members passed away. Obviously, one of them is due to, maybe due to COVID or natural cause. So these are happening around us. Am I still blinding myself or drowning ourselves in so-called illusions? Yes. So what can we do? Chanting Amitabha for um, uh, well, I'll stop here. Just, uh, just a uh, ending phrase is those things that we're trying to learn. Uh, it's not for, for for words on paper or anything. They are trying to give us a sense of awareness, and this is strong, especially stronger in face of what's happening right now. We cannot afford to have that happen to us and not prepared. One time. All it takes is one time. It does not take two or three. And I already have been blessed, maybe of my past come many times transgression of being, maybe this just saving for later. It will come up and collect me. In my case, I'm, I'm using a very sharp term. I'm going to get clean up. What I'm trying to say is we can't afford to have that one thing, one time happening on us. One is all it takes. You may escape millions and millions of calamities or it just passed by you but one time all it takes is one time so what can we do against that one opportunity of disaster on you and your family 
is cultivation. The solid foundation of cultivation is to have a heart of sincerity. With sincerity, Master Jin Kong said, you will be able to be pure, zhen chen qing jing, and then you'll be able to balance, ping de, and then you'll be able to have awakening. If not big awakening, small awakening. Accumulate all the small awakening, you will become big awakening. And accumulate the big awakening, in the end, you will be fully en uh, enlightened like a Zen master. Those are all very practical stuff. They are not bunga uga bugo in some faraway land. We have lost ourselves in, in this uh, sensories, pleasures and all that. So it's time to go back, go back to the most foundation part, virtues, purity. All these can be compressed into Amitofo. And that's the meaning of Amitofo. If we don't understand, if we don't have that meaning of Amitofo, taste, but we can, if we can't taste the meaning of Amitofo, I'm using a very concrete word, you, if you can't taste that, what is Amitofo? You just simply Amitofo, Amitofo, Amitofo. That's cool, but it's only practice. For it to have effect, you need to actually taste the army before and you need help of the teachings unless you are very concentrated you're able to use army for in all conditions and as long as you're not using your mind to think about your work or your duties you use you're able to use army for all the time then you don't need all these teachings because you're already there you're concentrating on one point however the reality is myself using my experience it might not be applied for everyone all of you might already have that level way above me. What I'm trying to say is, the reality is we have so much rubbish in there. Sometimes you're just not finding any gap to put Amitabha in there. And once you understand the teaching here, you will have a very healthy amount of fear. That one time is all it takes for you to fall into three lower realms. That means you pass away before. You can't bring up the Amitabha. You're used to all this rubbish, you're used to all this uh, lust and all that kind of thoughts. And this scenery will appear before you die, or appear at the time of your emergency instead of Bodhisattva Kuan Yin, instead of Buddha Amitabha, or even Shayamuni Buddha. If you can think of them, you, you might still have hope. But if you can't think of them, you will follow whatever the heaviest karma you have accumulated. This is the, this is the conclusion what we're trying to say. To have a good, bright future, we need to have understanding. We need to have deep understanding of ourselves. Only then we can find our way to get out. And we see ourselves, we are actually building ourselves properly, uh, proper foundation. So cause and effect is our only means of communication to ourselves, to our community, to the world. Then we can talk about morals and virtues, which is a beautiful um, add-on. Because cause and effect makes you do not fear, you do not dare to do anything. Once you understand that very dangerous and things, what you what should you do? Use the morality and virtues. Lundi. What should I do? I fulfill my duty, be, be respectful to the parents, cherish them. Only then, those, those are the bonus points. What we're talking about right now is preventing the negative point from getting more negative. That's why we have reform, then we talk about merits, then Kambu. Right now we don't even have, yes, yeah. uh, we need to get started. So there's a lot of work to be done, my friend. Uh, there's a lot of work to be done. Thank you so much for listening to this 27-year-old um, mumbling like a old person, but um, good luck. Any, any way, anyone wants, to, uh, any, Sorry for taking your time. Do you guys have anything to talk about? Um, please bring it up. And uh, please uh, like give more, um, if you have anything else, any ideas among, or any case you saw that suffused these teachings, bring it out. I think it will benefit a lot of people. Pro proper case around you, around people. You don't have to bring out the name, but real example always give that sense of reality into these teachings. Goes beyond just papers. That's the best thing about it. Basically, this whole session is kind of like my um, towards you all bodhisattvas trying to re repent to you guys. Falu Tanghui. <laughs> and this is, uh, I encourage everyone to do that. If you have your own society or your own friends, if everyone has this kind of concept, do that. 
this force yourself to talk about this sometimes you might be tired it might be late but just do it even there's no one behind you or no one here talk to your own self obviously it will be preferable to have people to listen but keep doing that no matter where you are if, when you leave this society to some other society as long as it's good they're willing to listen talk about it bring this awareness say talking to you you, you guys, you guys are teachers. People who talk are the students. You guys are the judge. I'm the one who's to be judged. Whether I can accept it or not, obviously it depends on my cultivation. Whether I'm actioning it or not, it also depends on my cultivation. You guys can see it clearly because you're the third person. First person are always blurred than the third person. So we can use that to swap around. Jayu, yeah. okay. Uh, if nothing else, we should end this uh, um, session with a, uh, I mean, heartfelt Amitofo. I think nothing else we can say. Let's uh, let's do Amitofo. Nothing, nothing's more important than these four words, guys. Visualize the word as well. Ah, uh, e, o, fo. Ah, uh, e, to, fo. Ah, uh, mi, to, fo. Ah. Uh, me to for ah 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 me to for May we dedicate all our merits and virtues to all beings that are suffering in all manners, from disease, from wars, from man-made or natural disease, um, and also dedicate to all our karma creditors, past, present and future, and to the uh, traditional owners of this land, to the temple of this land, um, and to all associations of Pure Land worldwide and all proper religious uh, Dharma place worldwide. Um, we dedicate this merit for a peaceful uh, world, for a safe world, for a world that are open, ready for the teachings of cause and effect and moralities. May the merits and virtues accrue from this work adorn the Buddha's pure land, repay the four kinds of kindness above, and relieve the sufferings of those in the three paths below. May those who see and hear of this, open forth the heart of understanding and compassion, and leave the teachings for the rest of this life, then be born together in the land of ultimate bliss. Namo Amitofo, pure land, pure heart, Amitofo to you all. Next fortnight, we'll have San Cecilian. I think it will be broadcasted live from uh, the official website. Mm -hmm. Next fortnight would be the 16th, 17th, and 18th of April. It would be the day following Good Friday, all the way to Easter Monday, which is the 18th. So for those who are in the um, Sydney, can come to the temple. Please remember, um, please read the message I have sent uh, for the uh, steps you need. Basically, send Auntie Cynthia, the phone number is already there, a message of the time you will be joining. If you have two days, put two days, not time, sorry. And then your name and your own contact number. She will put yourself as one in the list and you will be able to join. If you're afar, please follow the directions from Uncle James, I think he will announce it um, on the link to see. Uh, see you guys. Uh, this time to see is the best way as well. We can dedicate our merits for ourselves in concentration, cultivation of good thoughts. So, thank you so much. Yeah. See you guys.